Hello guys, this is Dabs Nishmail. WYSIWYG Web Builder has undergone a major update and this major update comes with a lot of new features. So if you come to about, as you can see, we have version 12.2.0, which was released on September 21st, 2017. So yes, it comes with a lot of new features and among these new features, we have the multi-page form wizard which you can use a carousel to create so let me just show you what i mean by that let me just minimize this and as you can see i have a page here so if i go ahead and fill this part fill this part and fill this part i go ahead to click on next it takes me to the next page of the form i finish filling this part and then i go ahead to hit on the next it takes me to the last page of the form and when i'm done all i need to do is to hit on submit and this form is going to be submitted now in case i want to come back i just have to hit on the previous it brings me back and then hit on the previous it brings me back as well as you can see because we're on the first page of the carousel or, or the form when we come here the previous is deactivated the next is the only thing which is activated because we are supposed to go to the next page fill it and then go to the next page as well so when i come here the previous gets activated the next also gets activated because there's a last page and then the submit is deactivated when i hit on this the next gets deactivated and then the submit is activated so let's take a look at how to achieve this in WYSIWYG web builder so to get started we are going to come to our two box and then bring the carousel so let me just draw here and then bring my carousel in here so let me just expand this a little bit and then double click on it so i'm going to need only three slides so three pages let me just hit on the last one and remove it when i'm done i'm going to come to options and then under options now the post time i wouldn't need any post time so i'm going to take this from 3000 to zero and then i'm going to leave the animation that is on forward when i'm done all i need to do is to hit on ok let me just come back here come to my options make sure i deactivate my navigation as well as my pagination here i'll go ahead and hit on ok and then i'll come to my two box let me come to my two box and then i'm going to locate the contact section so let me just go to the form section and then i'm going to start with the edit box so first of all i'm going to have an edit box here let me just draw here reduce the size of it a bit and then i'm going to bring it into my carousel now i'm going to expand this a little bit now building my form i can decide to use a label or not in my case i wouldn't want to use any label so i'm just going to leave this on the edit box let me just change the name of the edit box to name that's the placeholder section and then i'm going to let me just copy this hit on ok I'm going to right click on it and then i'm going to go to that is a margin and then pattern so under pattern i'm going to set about 10 pixels from the left and then let me just double click on this again come to style and change the size of the test which is going to be about 12 pixels and then i'll hit on ok i'm going to make a copy of this using ctrl c i'm going to paste one here and then i'm going to change this to so let me just make this last name and then the first one is going to be first name so this is going to be first name and then i'll hit on ok now i'm going to make a copy of this and then i'm going to paste that here so let me just maybe make this one date of bit so this is i'm going to change the type to date, and then i'm going to type date of bit here i'll go ahead and hit on ok now the next one is going to be email so let me just Put email here let me double click on this change this to email field and then i'm going to hit on let me just change this to email address and then i'll go ahead and hit on okay let me just go ahead and reduce the height of this a bit so let me select my edit boxes here and then let me just position them a bit to this particular position let me just bring my ruler here which is going to aid me on my other pages and then i'm going to come here and then i'm going to select the test let me just come here and select one head and style tag here then i'm going to make this so i'm going to leave this on head and that is heading one and then i'm just going to type in that is multi form or form page one of three so this is going to be page one of three and then i'll go ahead and hit on ok so let me just reduce the height of this a bit and then i'm going to position it in my carousel here 
Now I'm going to go to the next slide that is the uh, next page of my carousel. So I'm going to copy this test as well as I'm going to copy this. So let me just go ahead and select them and then copy it. Now come to my next page and then I'm going to paste that here. So let me just paste that here. And then this is going to be so under this section we are going to have address. So first of all, we are going to have street name. And then the next one, let me just come here and then instead of this, let me change this instead. And then I'm going to copy this. I'm going to change this to city. I'll go ahead and copy this and then bring that here. Maybe I can change this to state. And then I'll go ahead and then bring one more here, which I'm going to make it country. So you just have to go ahead and type in your country, your state, your city, and then your street name here. You can change this to a combo box. Um, you can change it to a drop down if you want it. But um, I'm, because I'm going to just build a simple form, I'm going to leave it as it is here. And then I'm going to continue to the next page. So I'll copy this one, the test. Let me just come here and change this to that is um, two of three. So this is going to be two of three. And then I'll go ahead and hit an OK. And I'm going to come to the third one. And then I'm going to paste my test in here. So I'll change this to three of three. And then I'll go ahead and hit an OK. Now here I'm going to bring in that is um, a test box. So let me come to my form section. And then I'm going to bring in a test area here. So let me just click on this. And then I'm going to draw in here. So let me expand this a little bit to our disposition. And then I'll leave it as it is. Now come back to my two box under the form control section. Let me just come to my form control section. I'm going to select the button. So I'll select my button and then I'm going to draw here. Now I'm going to go ahead and change the size of my button here. I'm going to make this about 120 by 35 pixels. So that is okay. And then I'm going to move that here. Now I'm going to change the test in this button, which is going to be previous. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit an OK. Now I'm going to copy this button, paste that here, and then paste it one more time. So this is going to be submit. I'll go ahead and hit an OK. And then I'm going to change this to next. So this is going to be next. And then I'll go ahead and hit an OK. Now I'm going to change the IDs of these buttons I brought in here. So I'll come to my property inspector. And then the first one is going to be BT. That is a previous. So this is going to be BTN PREV. This is going to be BTN next. So this is going to be BTN. And then I'm going to have next here. And then I'm going to come to the last one, which is also going to be BTN. And then this is going to be submit. I'll go ahead and hit on outside it. And then I'll come back and double click in my carousel. So when you come to the carousel, we have a very last section here which is the form. So I'll go ahead and hit on the form section and then I'm going to enable my form. So this is going to aid me in configuring my form. So I'll just enable this and then enter the email address I want this form to be sent to. I'll set my success and then error page and then I can change the subject of it. So we are not going to do anything more here. So I'll just go ahead and hit on OK and then I'll go ahead and hit on OK. Now let's just go ahead. Let me right click, come to page property and center this. I'll go ahead and hit on OK. Now let's just preview this in a browser. So as you can see, we have our form here because I changed the duration for the carousel. This is not going to move until I control it. So let's just come back and see how best we can do this. Now, before we continue, we are supposed to create a style. So let's just go ahead and come to our two section and come to our style manager and create a style we are going to be using in here. So I'm not going to need all these styles. All I can do is just get rid of them. So I'm going to get rid of the styles I have in here. And then I'm going to go ahead and create my styles I'll be using for my buttons in here. So let me just go ahead and get rid of this. And then I'm going to hit on add. So the name of the style I want to create over here is going to be BTN Disable. And then I'm going to come to the custom style section. So I'm going to type in a custom code over here. So this is going to be Kesa not allowed. So this is going to be not allowed. And then the pointer is going to be event. We just going to 
type in here events none and then i'm going to bring my column that is uh, my semicolon here and then let me just space this a bit come here as a pointer space that also now i'm going to come to this section that is the border section i would want to change the border of the that is the button i have in here when it is disabled and then i'm going to change the border color to about this and then i'm going to set um, a radius let me just change the radius to about three pixels and then the border style is going to be solid and then i'll come here and set a border width of one pixel and then the background color is going to be white so let me just go ahead and select white here and then i'll go ahead and hit on okay so let me just calm down it seems everything is okay here so i'll go ahead and hit on okay and then i'm going to create another button and um, that is another style here which is going to be btn enabled so let me just change this to btn enabled and then i'm going to type in a custom code here as well so this is going to be cursor and then i'm going to type pointers and just paste this and then bring my semicolon here now i'm going to come down and change the color of my button so i'll come to this section first of all i want a background color um let me just come back up a little bit i want a border color of uh, deep blue so let me just select this i want a radius or let me just pick a color from my button here so i okay let me just pick this color that's what i would want to be the border color and then i'm going to set a radius of three pixels now the border style is also going to be solid here and then it's also going to have one pixel and then the background color is going to be this blue color i have in here now let me just come down to the bottom a bit first of all let me change the test color which is going to be white and then the size of the test is also going to be let me just change the font size to about 10 pixels let me just make this 11 pixels i'll go ahead and hit on okay now let me just come back here and edit this and come to the test section so i'm going to change the test color to white and then the test that is the um, size of my font is also going to be 11 pixels i'll go ahead and hit on okay and then i'm going to hit on okay no, I think I'll have just come back here and then get something right. Let me come to my style manager. So let me come here because this is having a white background. We wouldn't see that. So let me just select the color I'll be using for the border. So let me deepen this a bit so that I can use that for my test also. So the test color is also going to be the same here. As you can see, this is visible than the previous one. I'll go ahead and hit an OK and then hit an OK. Now let's come to our carousel and then I'm going to go to the event section. And then i'm going to go ahead to set a series of events i'll be using on my carousel so to do that i'll first of all hit on the add and then i'm going to select so the first event is going to be activate 01 so that is for the first button and then i'm going to select set style now the target is going to be um, the button one that is the first button i set that is the previous button so let me just go through and select my previous button and what do I want for this? So I want disabled. So I want to disable this so that if I am on the first one, I, I wouldn't want to go back. So that is on the first slide, I want this to be disabled. I'll go ahead and hit on OK. And then I'm going to hit on Add again. Still going to be Activate 1 because you have three buttons here. And then the action is going to be Set Style. What I'm going to select here is going to be the Submit button. This is also going to be Disabled. And then i'll go ahead and hit an ok now the third one is going to also be set style and what i'm going to have here is going to be that is the next which is going to be enabled so i'll go ahead and hit an ok and then i'm going to continue to create for the second one so this is going to be activate 2 i'm going to select set style and then i'm going to select the target so the target here is going to be that is uh, the button that is the next so if I'm on the second slide, I don't want to have uh, my my submit enabled. So I'm going to have next enabled and then I'll go ahead and hit an OK. I'm also going to have previous enabled. So this is going to be two and then previous is also going to be enabled. So let me select set style and then I'll select previous. This is also going to be enabled. I'll go ahead and hit an OK. I'm going to add one more, which is going to be let me change this to two. And then this is going to be let me select set style 
I'll select submit which is going to be disabled I'll go ahead and hit on OK now the next one is going to be so we would by then be on the third one so I want to have submit and previous enabled so I'll select the third one and then I'm going to come here and select set style the target is going to be that is um, submit is going to be enabled I'll go ahead and hit on OK I'll add one more so this is going to be third and then the set style I'll select set style previous is also going to be enabled and then i'll go ahead and hit an ok now continue this is going to be set style i'll change this to three and then the target is going to be next which is going to be disabled i'll go ahead and hit an ok and then i'm going to go ahead and select ok here also now we want a situation whereby we would want to use these buttons to control our carousel here so to do that i'm first of all going to double click on my button that's the first button and i'll come to event so i'll select add and then on click so that is going to be the event what should happen so this is going to be slide show so i'm going to select slide show and then i'm going to select so the slide show this is going to be previous and then i'm going to select the target which is going to be my carousel here i'll go ahead and hit an ok and then i'll go ahead and hit an ok so this one is also going to be on slideshow what is going to happen so this is going to be on click and this is going to be next so I have that selected for that one also and then I'll go ahead and then hit on ok let me just add my target so I'll come here select my target which is going to be the carousel I'll go ahead and hit on ok now the third one is going to have some kind of uh, another JavaScript event set to it here so let me just come here and then I'll hit on add so on click what is going to happen so this is going to be a javascript function i want to set here and then i'm going to go ahead and type the function i want to have here so i have that already copied so let me just paste that here and then hit on ok now because i the name of our carousel what we are using here is uh let me just come here to our javascript we just set here this is called carousel one Either I might want to change this or change the ID of my carousel. Let me just come to my carousel and then I'm going to copy the ID of it. I'll double click on my button here again. I'll come to events then come to the JavaScript section and then I'm going to replace this. So let me just replace this with my index carousel and then this is going to be submitted. So this is going to be document.get element by ID. Then the ID of my carousel is index carousel one and then this is going to be submit. I'll go ahead and hit on OK and then hit on OK. Now let's just go ahead and preview this in our browser and see how it's going to be. So as you can see, we have a form here. This is disabled. This is also disabled. This is enabled. So when I hit on this, it takes me to the next one. This is enabled. This is enabled. This is disabled. When I hit on this, it takes me to the next one also. Now let's just come back to our style we created. It looks like the style is not taking effect here so we might want to come back and then make corrections to that so when we come here what we're supposed to do is to double click on this instead of having our own style set here because we created styles all we have to do is to select disabled that is for the first one let me just um, have this this is going to be disabled so let me make sure everything is right here so this is going to be disabled I hit on OK this is going to be enabled and then this is also going to be disabled so i'll come here and change this to disabled and then hit on ok so let's just preview this in our browser again and then see how it is going to look so as you can see because this is disabled we can't actually click on it now when we should assume in, um, we are done filling this form all we have to do is to click on next it takes us to the next one now we can go back we can continue and then when we are done with this section all we have to do is to hit on next which takes us here and then we can submit so let's just come here and then change uh, the style for the next one so this is going to be let me just change the style for it this is going to be disabled let me just uh, preview this again so next next we should have this enabled so let's just come back here to our carousel and see the event we created here so we have so the submit is supposed to be enabled instead of disabled so i'll hit on ok now let's come here preview this again 
and then this should be fine so i hit on next and as you can see it is enabled now so in case i'm done filling this all i have to do is to hit on submit and it's going to be submitted so there is one more thing we are supposed to do to our button so let's just come back here and take a look at that so first of all i'll double click on this and when i come to the button type i have three options i have normal submit and reset so i'm going to change this to normal i'm going to change this also to normal and then i'm going to change this to normal even though it is going to be a submit button because i applied or set an event to it so the event is going to take care of the submission of the form thank you very much for watching bye for now